Howdy folks, this is Jackers, and this of course is the Elder Scrolls Online, and we are here in Skywatch in the Elder Scrolls Online today to talk about lockpicking. This video was requested by Hotsi Totsi and Jennifer, so let's take a closer look at the picking of locks in the Elder Scrolls Online. Before we get started, there is one thing I would like to note. What is truly important in lockpicking in the Elder Scrolls Online is a little bit different than every other action in every other game. Mostly, when you want to achieve something in a game, you press, you click, you do the action. In lockpicking in the Elder Scrolls Online, what you want to do is the opposite. You will already be pressing the tumbler down. You want to let go of the mouse button or controller button when you see it start to shake or rattle. So we need to be a little bit sneaky here, so we go into stealth mode and attempt to open the lock. So we press down, and we see that it begins to rattle and shake, so we want to let go of the mouse button as soon as possible. It's easy to get focused on the tumbler and forget to let go or to forget to do it fast enough. And then, once you let go, the tumbler locks into place, and you are all set. Okay, so let's take a look at another example of a simple lock up the road here. And we can also take a look at some more advanced locks. What really changes as the lock becomes more difficult is how much time you have to unlock it and how tolerant the tumbles are once they rattle, before they break or just don't stick. There we go. Okay, so again, if we look at, say, an intermediate lock, you will see we have a little bit less time than we have with the simple lock, and the tumblers are a little bit less tolerant. And as we move up to a master lock, well, things get a lot more shaky and they are more prone to break, to snap, and, well, not to stick, and to getting you to do it over and over again. In the world skill line of Ledger Domain, there is a locksmith passive that improves your chance of forcing locks by 10%. It has four ranks. It can first be achieved at Ledger Domain rank 5, if you are having overwhelming trouble with the mini game of lock picking, I can see that forcing the locks might be a solution. And to earn ledger domain points, you sell stolen goods to a fence in one of the thieves' hideouts surrounding, uh, usually in or around cities, and also by, well, picking locks on chests or doors. Alrighty, folks, this has been Checkers with a look at how to pick locks in the Elder Scrolls Online. I hope you found the video informative and maybe even just a little entertaining. I would like to invite you to think of something you are truly grateful for, something that brings you joy. And I would also like to thank you for allowing me to share a part of your day. Most of all, though, I would like to ask you to please, please, Take care.